We are talking passamento today. Which Drying is... grapes for 30 days and then making wine out of them. This is the one. This is a, an attempt in the Veneto and, uh, you know, in a smaller region called Valpolicella, where basically the wine made from these grapes naturally, or, you know, traditionally, without the drying technique, is quite thin um, and sort of more, uh, sort of less punchy, gorgeous, but just they wanted to make something heavier and punchier. So what they do is dry out the grapes and that gives it more concentrated flavor. And residual sugar. And which residual sugar, which is higher alcohol. Yeah. Um, so yeah, dry grapes so 30, 30 days, Corv, uh, Corvina, Corvinone and Rondonella. Rondonella, which um, is the classic triad in the Benito. 60-20-20 split, Michele Spina mm -hmm. was the name of the winemaker. Um, and this is normally about 12 quid. Yeah. We've got it on a promotion uh, for as long as stocks last or until after Christmas, whichever comes sooner, um, which is at a tenner. So this is like you you you've got the um the the chocolate raisins from Tesco you and really you just do. put them in a frying pan, <laughs> and, and, and that's it. You know, <laughs> it is chocolate raisins. Yeah, just um, you know, congealed and lovely, lovingly sort of syrup. It's it's with golden syrup, it's and a, maple syrup. It's a sweetie shop. It's maple syrup. Uh, it's the it's the, the, dark... it's the chocolate raisins. It's clove rock. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, cinnamon balls. And then a bit of humbug as well. A bit of minty humbug. Yeah. Yes. We all love it. Oh. I've not had a minty humbug in The years. sweet shop in Moffat was the last place that I got humbugs really? from. Yeah, I love it there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, no. Must go around with my humbugs. Yeah. I hope whoever is the 14th Doctor Who brings back the jelly babies. You know, uh, Doctor <laughs> Who always used to carry a bag of jelly babies with him. Really? Yeah, and this shows how geeky I get with regards to Doctor Who. I think the last time you actually saw Doctor Who with a with a with a or oh, the Doctor, sorry, apologies to all those Whoopians out there. Yeah. Um, the Doctor with jelly babies was in the nineteen ninety six movie. I have really? a wealth of useless crap in my head that I just can't get rid of. That's why we get on so well. Except my useless nonsense sort of starts in 1945. Yours predates it. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, sweetie shop. Yeah, sweetie shop. Sweetie shop. Lovely. What's not to like about that? What would you have that? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not. It. It is just. No, no. It's wine porn. It's it's loads and loads of fruit, simple, dark, tasty. tasty it's just a flavors. big. It's just a big fat hit of wine. Yes, you know, but really nicely balanced. What would you have that with? Yeah, a massive hangover the next yeah, day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, it's yeah. it's yeah. <laughs> this is gonna give you a hangover, guys. It's heavy. It's, she's she's chunky. You know, mm -hmm. um, there's no mistake about that. Lots of sugar, lots of booze. Yeah, I mean Amarone, which is the famous wine in this style, is sixteen point five percent usually. Like, yeah, these are boozy wines. I, well, what would I pair this with? Um, uh, you're gonna need something powerful, big stew, meaty, yeah, stew, meaty, yeah. um, sort of beefy stew. Lamb's gonna be not... too sweet and delicate. You need yes. to eat them in a stew. You're, go you're gonna need that sort of. There are not many wines that can stand up to like thick, biggie sauces yeah. like that, but this is just so powerful. Like, Buy two bottles of it, stick one in the stew and drink the yeah, other one the, with the, the all stew. All of it. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. You, you could never be too generous any, with a stew. Any stew with less than a bottle of wine is not right. Absolutely. And I mean a bottle of wine in the stew. Yeah. Um, I like this. I think it's cracking little wine. If you, if you want something big gutsy, if you're a big fan of things like, you know, Big Aussie Shirazes and Malbecs and things like that. Do give this a go because it is very, very tasty. Um, it's really well balanced um, from the Montresor company. Um, and um, yeah, I really like this. Urban Park. I mean, the label's a little bit on the... Um, it's, 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 a, it's a cross... It's a bright It's a cross label. between the village sweet shop and the Wild West. That is about right, isn't it? <laughs> it's a village sweet shop yeah. in the Wild in West. In the Wild which is interesting. There we go. Um, but, you know. Which is also in Italy. <laughs> anyway. Have a lovely day. We'll see you soon. Bye.